Today's topic is both or neither. God says in the Bible, I kill and I make alive, I heal and I wound, I create and I destroy. In or out of argued context, God is proclaiming its I am self as a two-sided coin, the very definition of the world's original juxtaposed dichotomy. As there is above, there is below, black to white, left versus right, the day's sun or the moon's night. The weighed value of balance is always equally measured. In order to wholly accept the idea of being a demigod means you must accept the equally divided nature of God. There is no straddling the fence or being lukewarm in human divinity. You must swallow Godhood whole, both the bitter and the sweet, or spit it from your mouth altogether. Now, friends, let us listen and apply this lesson. You know, I have the hardest time understanding why certain people want to be part of the Neville Goddard school of thought when it comes to human divinity. I think I need to prepare for even more people to unsubscribe after hearing this message. As a student of Neville, you can't cherry pick and choose what parts of human divinity you want to accept or reject. Many so called followers of the teachings of Neville Goddard flat out refuse to acknowledge they are God to varying degrees. I imagine they think it's the ultimate sacrilege. Well, get ready for another unpopular school of thought. If we are God, we are also the Satan that we've heard so much about. Yep, I just said that. Bear in mind the Bible teaches God made Satan and that he was a fallen angel. Neville teaches that everything we create is an extension of us. I personally have no problem accepting both sides of this coin. It's like saying you're day, but not night, or left, but not right. You can't have one without the other. These two sides of the dichotomy come as a pair and cannot be separated or sold separately, no matter how much people don't like or refuse to accept it. You are both or neither. That's it, and that's all. If you can't accept this, I'd suggest you go back to Club Neither, fall to your knees, and start praising a god outside of yourself again. Sorry, but not sorry. Be it here on YouTube or a Reddit thread, there are so many neither people making it their business to drag their fucky religious dogma over to us in the Neville Goddard both arena. Truth is, these people don't want to necessarily be in the neither column anymore because they know it's bullshit and feel beguiled, but are still conditioned and feel guilty about this new demigod autonomy. So they mosey their happy confused asses over to column Neville to poison and pollute our well with their lukewarm fence-riding garbage. They fully know and understand the house cardinal rules of the Neville Goddard space but insist on trying to remix the rules to accommodate their self-inflicted guilty conscience. Let me make this plain. Accepting this dichotomy of godhood is not optional or debatable. Either you accept all of being God, or you don't. Coming to our godhood space to argue or pontificate your bullshit point of view is unwarranted and unwanted. In other words, shut the fuck up, or get out and go back to neither land and wait on the Savior that is never coming to save you. Yep, I just said that shit too. As long as I or anyone else here on YouTube is regurgitating that watered-down law of attraction nonsense, these pseudo-Neville followers are happy, but turn on the Neville Goddard house lights of inconvenient truths, and they scatter like roaches running from the very illumination they claim to seek. Throughout my entire life growing up, I'd heard the following a billion times from religious zealots who praised a god outside of themselves. They preached that when I went out into the world, worked hard, and achieved anything, I needed to fall to my knees in praise and thank a god outside of myself because this separate god had truly blessed me. However, if I'd gone out into this same world, been a scrub and fucked up, it was all my fault, and I was a disgrace before God and needed to repent. Like, man, get the fuck out of here with those reindeer games and Jedi mind tricks. I can't give away all the credit while taking all the blame, Einstein. Both the credit and the blame are both mine. The good I am in this world, as well as the evil I am, are both me and are both God. 
the power that is God is a sword that cuts both ways, making us, like nature, both kind and unkind. We are both in our acceptance in human divinity, or neither in our rejection of it. You don't have to like it. And if you don't, again, please get out of our human godhood space and go back to neither land. If you can't take the heat, get the hell out of Neville's kitchen. Besides, you don't want what's on the menu and refuse to eat what's being served anyway. Now, I know that was hardcore and a brutal verbal beating, but only for those it applies to. If you truly accept and apply Neville's teachings, you didn't hear this piercing dog whistle. At any rate, thanks as always for listening and supporting. As you can see, there's much more upcoming new content. Special thanks to my beautiful wife for producing this new content for the channel. I sketch out the blueprint concept, and my wife helps me to build and execute the vision. I hope you guys are enjoying my take on Neville's teachings. I try to spin new thought ideas with nuance applicable for this day and time for you to listen and think about, versus simply repeating the same old thing every Neville Goddard based channel repackages here on YouTube. This is a labor of love for me, and I will keep making content as long as you guys keep listening. Again, I thank you, and until next time, peace.